What did you guys discuss while I was off, Cody? In terms of? What should I know about? Nothing. Hello. Hi. Hello, Greetings. friends. Cody. <laughs> How has your second Monday been? Oh, it's been a Monday, Monday. It's been even more <laughs> of a Monday than actual Monday was. Sheesh. We were just trying to juggle meetings and everything going on at the all at the same time, and they're all kind of overlapping and not overlapping, and I will say this right. And that. I just something that absolutely kills me. I am somebody who's like fine with being a consistent level of busy. Like, it's all right. I'll manage, I'll cope. What I can't mm -hmm. handle is being a consistent le level of busy and then all of a sudden just like, boom, 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 50,000 meetings. <laughs> and it, like, what? Why? Why? There are other days in the week. Why are all of you wanting to happen on one day? It's like, so my birthday, right? Like, this is a ridiculous story, but I was so irate. <laughs> like I get no phone calls I'm the happiest person on earth everybody just messaged I'm like this day is going great so eventually it is literally 6 30 in the evening my phone mm -hmm. hasn't had a message or a phone call for freaking hours and I decide to set up a smart home thing with the app on my phone okay. Cody like 12 people no exaggeration <laughs> called me one after the other larry is just standing in the kitchen like shaking his head like he doesn't <laughs> even know what happened like it was literally just madness all i was trying to do was connect the device to my home's wi-fi network and it took like three hours it was the most bizarre experience of my life it was so freaking triggering it isn't even true <laughs> how do you know larry was not involved i feel like he's this is he just takes everybody and was like guys yeah. phone now phone now, now. this now, is what now, she now. wants yeah 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 <sighs> and they already made a plan they knew cool 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 seven and a half minutes for you as soon as that's over next person three minutes 38 exactly that's as much time as you get it was literally like i'm not even kidding so our one friend phoned and it was a video call and he hung phone. up the phone. My phone was still on the connect to Wi-Fi screen. It had timed mm -hmm. out because of a call. I was like, okay, no worries. Put the password in again, said connect. And as I pushed connect, the next phone call came through. <laughs> and it literally repeated that way. Like it was just bizarre. <laughs> And I'm just sitting there well, like, I, mean, I just want to connect for Wi-Fi. Like, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> I suppose people like you enough, so that's fine. Happy birthday times 12. Thank you. <laughs> it was so was it good, though? Besides the triggering <laughs> phone calls, did you have a good time? I had a perfectly great time celebrating my birthday like an elder it was wonderful <laughs> i did nothing and it was the best load of nothing i have ever done <laughs> like i just had such a good time i decided this year screw that i put my phone away bar for the phone calls like i didn't <laughs> respond to text messages i didn't check social media i did none of those things up until last night and it was wonderful. It felt great. There's something to be said for old people birthdays. <laughs> something to be said from not being it. They actually, maybe they do know how to use technology. They just choose to pretend <laughs> not to so that you can't bother them. I'm not going to lie. They secretly that run was Facebook. <laughs> <sighs> but how was, how your, was your public holiday? That was the same question I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool. I mean, we decided to vote late in the day. So we went to the gym in the morning, not to paint, to exercise. And I'm regretting it because my body is in so much pain because <laughs> I haven't been in so long. Because you're an elder? Because um, I'm, yep, exactly. 
Um, yeah, and then other than that, super chilled. Like, you know, also I got stuck into some PlayStation gaming, which was lots of fun. Just took it super easy. It was nice. It was calm. The voting queues were short. It was, it was a good voting day. You know, it's so funny How's that yours? you say you were sore because of exercise and you've not been for a while. Last night, I see an Insta reel and for guys like as a guy or as a woman you absolutely cannot date somebody who's significantly younger than you after you are like 35 years old because you can't be waking up one morning with this bizarre pain and then you roll over and you're like oh my wrist hurts and then she's like what why and you're like you yeah. don't know it just hurts and she's <laughs> like well that's not right like half of a relationship is bonding about your mysterious old people pains because your bodies are decaying at the same time and i was like well that's true like if that i count sense. out all of my moaning about my bodily issues i don't know what larry and i will talk about 90 percent of the time because that's a significant part of our relationship <laughs> uh, at least he's not like a 21 year old who doesn't understand so yeah. that's fine that's why I picked him yeah, slightly older, because he's a warning sign for me. <laughs> he gets it first, oh, and I'm yes. like, oh, okay, that's what's coming. I better prepare. Mm -hmm. Foresight. That's smart. <laughs> that's smart. Nice. You should just fill me in as well, because we're the same, right? So if he's yep. getting anything, just let me know what I'm in for later on down the Like, line. honestly, I say it to be funny, but it's legit, right? Like, my bodily issues I have now, Larry literally had three years ago. And I should have considered that my warning, this is coming, just wait. Well, now you know, so now you have to, like, <laughs> everything he complains about now, just write it down in a book. Get your insurance to pre-authorize everything three years in advance so you don't have to worry about dealing with it later on. Then when I phone, they're like, so okay, do you have this ache and pain now? No, but I'm going to have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <sighs> I predicted it three years ago, therefore, and then I'm like, no, 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 you can't. That's a pre-existing condition. We don't count that. <laughs> oh, too ah. true. No, my boy, you can't climb on me. We are filming. See, you let him up one time, and now he just wants to be up the whole time. And no, have I that. have to watch him the whole time today. <laughs> because, because my financial burden I decided to adopt. <laughs> decided to swallow the biggest chunk of plastic toy last night you ever did see. Like, I literally saw him bite it off. I saw it go into his mouth. Larry dove. I dove. We had our hands <laughs> in his mouth. And like, as my fingers went in, he went glunk. And you could literally see it go down. So now, I have to monitor him like a crazy person. To hope that the plastic comes out of him. Otherwise, my financial burden is even more expensive. Yay! Isn't it exciting? <laughs> what color was it? Is it, a, is it at least a nice bright, bright color? Bright so purple. To look Brightest okay. purple in the world. So when there's a bright purple poop on your doorstep, and you know you can breathe a sigh of relief. Larry's literally like when he left for work today. He's like, you must check his poops. I'm like, fine, I will. But just know how crazy it's going to look to anybody that looks through. I'm going to be the crazy lady bent over in the garden, like poking the poops with a stick. Where are you, little plastic piece? <laughs> I feel like everyone who's owned a dog has had some sort of poo poking experience. So you don't have, you're not that crazy. Like, it's fine. People will know. Oh, yeah, I've been there before. I know exactly what she's up to. Like, Poo literally, poking. I say again, I feel like getting a dog is the best form of birth control in the world. Because I don't know how you have a dog and then think that you are financially stable enough or energetic enough or <laughs> motivated enough to have a child after that. Like, 
it's baby stages so like if you feel like you're struggling with the dog please please don't don't get a human like 100 definitely can't afford like There's dog no is peak patience for me like i don't have more patience than <laughs> i have for my dog like we're playing games yesterday and i just hear this loud bashing noise i'm like <laughs> great that sounds expensive what is it oh mm -hmm. no my dog decided that my giant patio couch doesn't belong on the patio but belongs two stairs down in the middle of my lawn <laughs> instead how it's like a hundred times his size how he managed it heaven knows and i was just like i can't He's a i cannot with the child i cannot He's just, he's like, yeah, he's a bulldog. He knows, just bash things. That's what they do. <laughs> Push the chick couch right over. At least it didn't break, right? It just moved a little bit down into the yard. So you don't If you don't count couch. for a little bit that's been eaten, sure, Cody. If you just <laughs> divert your eyes from that, sure. Wait, is your couch the bright purple thing that he ate? No. Right? No, those were two separate yet equally costly events on the same day. Again, oh, the who day. has the money or the energy or the motivation for a child? I don't understand. I don't know. That's rich people things that children 100%. are definitely not ready. I am a children and I am rich people <laughs> things. Like, I can't I even was... afford for things that I want. Which are mostly things that children want, right? Like new games, like Lego. new figurines, <laughs> new Lego. <laughs> like it's exactly. every hobby it's I have expensive. is expensive. Like, actually, in truth, I could have been more financially stable if I had less hobbies and was just super into drugs. Because as expensive as drugs <laughs> are, they're just not as expensive as anything else I take pleasure out of. <laughs> Probably. I mean, I don't know if I'm willing to, like, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody go homeless because of a figurine collection, but I've seen a few heroin addicts <laughs> have a problem. So, I mean, I okay, don't know. But quite do yet. you know if they're truly heroin addicts? Or are they homeless gamers that are just, you think they're tweaking because of drugs, but it's just those like mouse keyboard withdrawals. You don't know. You're just presuming. Maybe, maybe we just give them the time of day and ask them what their addiction is. You never know. Could be keyboards. <laughs> Do you know? You're expecting to see me in two weeks time out there. Yep. Mm. So, speaking of like keyboards and cool stuff, I can't wait <laughs> okay. to go because we're going overseas next week. No, not we. Well, by the do not lie to our listeners and our viewers, Cody. I am going overseas, and yes. not next week. It'll be the week you're watching this. I will be over the seas. And it's for Computex, so there's going to be a buttload of hardware there, and I cannot wait to just bring everything back. Like I'm just, I can't. I'm going to look for the most ridiculous things, like things. We want, news. we all want a presents. keyboard with one button. Okay, tell me what you want, and I'm going to find the craziest <laughs> thing similar to that, and I'll bring it back. I feel like we I just need it. something ridiculous to have on our show. I feel like we Fun. just need something utterly ridiculous to have on under the table. <laughs> okay, we'll get an under the table mascot. Wait, let me get a pen. I have to write this down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna forget. You're never gonna remember. This, this is gonna be like take a magazine with to Dubai all over again. How'd that <laughs> work out, Cody? Like I have zero faith in you remembering. Blended. Absolutely <laughs> zero. This is why I'm writing down. What is this? Okay, wait, I can't write on that. See, I'm never going to remember Guys, now because I can't find paper. Can we just <laughs> ask everybody in the comments to weigh in here? 
in the age of technology so i was having this conversation with larry the other day larry's nieces are in school they're young it's still primary school but they had this crazy big competition like two three weeks ago and we were like oh mm-hmm. okay is it sports is it gymnastics is it art what is it and his mom was like no it's a who has the prettiest handwriting competition and i was like i think that's ridiculous because i don't even really know what my handwriting looks like anymore because i never have the need to put a pen to paper it is just never there i can make a note on my phone make a note on my ipad make a note on the computer if need be rocket book it's just something that doesn't factor into my life and then <laughs> you into the picture and no matter (laughs) what we've done if we've had a meeting if we'd have anything there you are with your pen and your trusty notepad and i don't understand it you disgusting little paper waster (laughs) (laughs) i don't get it i don't throw the papers away it's not like they go to waste i think i keep them and then like in five years time when we need notes i can be like okay now's my time to shine <laughs> go through the, all the pages that i've left in my drawer i should probably date them now now that i'm saying that <laughs> can't that's so know. ridiculous for me look i don't think you're wrong though i mean but there's just something so nice about writing with pen and paper i don't know you know what i've never been lucky enough to have a good writing tablet and like pen situation so i've never been able to fully you literally had a rocket book that's not the same that's a pen and paper essentially that's not that's pen and paper i mean like a nice ipad with a fancy eye pen it's called an eye pen right apple pencil close enough Apple Pencil. <laughs> See? I don't even know what they're <laughs> called, so there's no way I could have experienced it before. So I'm still using a, my old school thing, but then you land up in this situation where I don't have I totally didn't paper. lose my Apple Pencil, just don't worry about it. I'll go look for when it after we're it? done filming. <laughs> I was going to be like, you mean this thing? And all I'm looking at is my iPad without its pencil. That's problematic. Oops. Oh well. You don't get a five rand version of an Apple Pencil. Look, I don't leave a house. It has to be here, so... Maybe Zeke ate it. That's a problem. <laughs> I'm going to take that out of the universe. Maybe Zeke did it. Do you it, know? Just in case. Let me tell you like a ridiculous thing that happened on the public holiday. We mm-hmm. decide we are going to take Zeke to his first ever off-the-leash dog park. And I wasn't taking him there because it's an off-a-leash dog park, just because it's the only dog park that's close to us. Like, we only have one. So I'm like, I really want to socialize him. Like, I really want to take him. Let's go. So we go. So I've got him in his little harness with his little lead. And this really, really skinny, tiny little man comes running from nowhere up to me and Larry. (laughs) And is like, can't we read the sign? It is an off-the-lead dog park. We have to take his lead off. I'm like, okay, "Okay, but it's my dog's first time here. How do you know that he's not this vicious killer? Like, maybe we (laughs) should just taste the waters first. The guy's like, no, he can see a dog's aura. And Zeke has a very pleasant aura, so all is good. Okay. I'm like, okay. I mean, I've seen Zeke's face. He looks like he's more of a slubber mouth than a killer. So he is for sure a lover, not a fighter. Like, he is. (laughs) Okay. I was just saying, like, bit ridiculous, but whatever. So we take his little lead and his little harness off, and off we go through the park. And he is living his best life. He was peeing on all the other dog scents so much that he had no pee left in him and he was basically just squirting little puffs of air but just generally living his best dog life then Mm -hmm. we approach these people that have this maniac dog (laughs) who 
decided he just hates Zeke. And while okay. he was viciously mauling my dog and pinning my dog to the ground, that dog's owner was just like, ha ha ha, dogs be dogs, they'll sort it out. My dog <laughs> is like trembling in fear. His dog is clearly winning the fight. He's like, oh, it's just the way they play. His dog lets up for a second. <laughs> Zeke ran, jumped in my arms like a little baby and refused to walk around the dog park after that. He was just like, uh. nope, these dogs want to eat me. <laughs> Not having it. <laughs> I am going to live on my mom now. And that was the end of our dog park experience. That sucks. But you should take him back. I mean, like, get him used to. I know, like, I know not all dogs are cool dogs. I don't know what, like, dog friendly, you know, I mean, but yeah. You should take him back so that he's not scared of parks in the future. Because you got to socialize him. It'll be it's yeah. good for him. It's good. It's good. He can't be a, a recluse like his parents. Like, that's. He doesn't have a PlayStation or an Xbox to kill his time, you know. Park, Park is his PlayStation. He needs that. Yeah. Shame. So what did you do on your public holiday besides vote and have your dog jump into your arms like a little baby? It was ridiculous. <laughs> Truly ridiculous. After I was worried about my dog's behavior. Okay. I was worried that he would be a little killer. Meanwhile, he's just a little scared lover boy who needed to be carried like a little babe. No, just chilled. Like, still haven't connected my device to the Wi-Fi. That is tonight's project. Oh, nice. So yeah, please don't phone I'll me. Give you a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, just had a chill time. So I got a new computer screen. Ooh, and while you, you might get? be thinking, ooh, what you get, how awesome. The reality of that is, is redoing your entire desk. And as you know, when you redo your entire desk, you realize how freaking dirty your desk is in the areas that you never <laughs> see. Then it's clean. Yes. But now your desk mm -hmm. is clean and your keyboard starts looking dirty. And you're like, how does it get so dusty? I use it every day. Then I had to clean that. Then I had to cable manage because you can't introduce a new thing and not cable manage everything. Yes. And then because the screen <laughs> is higher and wider than the previous screen I had, everything is now off. Like my webcam's height is off the light <laughs> height is off everything is off so that was a considerable chunk of my day it's nice though it's so satisfying i know when i got my new monitor as well i went so crazy i even bought a new desk i wasn't even like <laughs> i'm gonna use the old desk i was like i need a completely new office i'm rebuilding the whole thing new desk new cable management i had to do all sorts of things buy all sorts of new stuff just to get it all to work but i think it's nice now now i feel like i'm in a little like i know I it know, is what, really nice when everything's set up but it's yeah. the, like getting it set up also like larry was lying under my desk of cable ties and like cable tying the cables because we have gaming desks so they've sort of got that netting that you can put cables in but you yeah. still need to like neaten your cables first otherwise it just hangs like a diaper at the bottom of your desk so he was doing mm -hmm. that while i'm at the top feeding him cables and being like okay but this one you can't cable tie because this one i need to move around so i need for cable to be able <laughs> It was just, that was a whole day ordeal. And then you accidentally cable tie the wrong cable together yes. or you make it too short and then you have to cut it and redo the whole thing again. hundred percent. I ruined the whole HDMI cable like that and I had to go and buy. Why? And it's always at like, I just, it was <laughs> too short. And then when I pulled the monitor, it like bent the oh. thing. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, and then it's like quarter to the shop's closing, so you're now full of dust because you've been under the table. You just jump in the car with whatever you've got and you race off to hopefully finish the project off before yep. the next day starts. Yeah, no, but that is exactly. Now. And then, like, <laughs> the screen is big. Like, it's bigger than what I've had before as my computer monitor. <laughs> but now, yeah, like, very first world problem but on my previous <laughs> old monitor if i just looked directly in front of me i saw the entire screen now i feel like if i look directly in front of me i have to actually move my eyes to see the whole screen and i was like i can't with this i can't uh -huh. now i'm used to it because i spent all day on it so now it's fine but this morning, I was like, this is the absolute worst. I have made a dreadful mistake <laughs> in my life. Like, my eyes are going to be so sore from the mini gym they have to do. Why don't you just turn your head? Just get used to, like, getting a big, strong neck. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, that was my day. Yeah. Carrying my dog around the park, so exercising the arms. Then full body workout nice. as I assembled the screen. And then <laughs> eye slash neck workout while I was looking at the screen. And you complained so about just one gym body. session. <laughs> we can try. I'll, we'll swap one day. I'll <laughs> no, set up a monitor you. and you come and do the thing that I did. <laughs> no, thank you. Can't. Nope. Uh, there is nothing on this planet more humbling than looking back at my life like so i used to travel around the world doing acrobatics and it was fine now <laughs> i get served these daddy fine. little facebook messages or like facebook this was you 11 years ago 12 years ago those like little post things that they put together <laughs> And I'm just like, in what life? Like, I don't understand. Somewhere in the last, like, 12 years, I died and was resurrected a less good version of myself. For sure. Because there is just no feasible way. I don't know. I feel like acrobatics is a hard one, though. Like, once you stop doing acrobatics... <laughs> it's done. You it's know, tickets. Goodbye. It's done. It's not like riding a bike. I don't think no, you can it is stop not riding, like a, riding bike a bike. And, yeah. Five years later, you still know how to ride a bike. I feel like that's a bit different. You know? But at least, like, I've just... I was generally unfit, and now I'm fit. So I did the opposite. I flipped over on the other side. I'm not saying I'm good at acrobatics, but I can... You I see, can I started out really, really fit. And now I'm really, really unfit. <laughs> I'm just like, can't, don't understand. Games just got better since then. Since you started playing games, they got Gaming better got better, better and, and my fitness levels got worse. Direct, like, direct. Maybe we should see if there's like a VR acrobatics game. VR Olympics. Who makes the Olympics games? Do they still make those? No, I don't think so, Cody. Uh. I've not seen one okay, of those Okay, well, we'll find one. We'll find one and then you can see if you can still do those things. No, you know what? So, like, I'm writing a series of articles about, like, gamified fitness and VR fitness and everything. But mm -hmm. even that, like, it's crazy for me. Like, I used to, even when I was teaching dancing, like, when I stopped doing stuff myself and I started teaching, we would literally start at... 11 o'clock the morning and you'd go yeah. until nine o'clock at night every single day five yeah. days a week a if there were day. competitions weekends whatever and it was fine fine i remember every now and then being like oh i really want a hot bath because my calf is slightly stiff <laughs> now i play beat saber for 30 minutes and i cannot <laughs> breathe I literally cannot breathe. I have a stitch. My arms are jelly. My face has never been more red. I, I'm sweating <laughs> so much. It looks like I've been in a pool. There is no feasible way that I could do that for an eight hour day. Never. <laughs> 
we test we'll test it we should do it it's part of your article we'll i will be dead for the rest the of the year i will literally <laughs> it will take me up until next year this time to recover <laughs> uh okay we can ask the, the viewers to put money out to see like who's gonna start dropping off first i feel like oliver's gonna last the longest because that guy has like zero weight in him so he's just gonna he's like he'll be air. there for hours yeah exactly doesn't take much energy to move air around he can play beat saber for at least 36 hours straight <laughs> <laughs> oh okay are we gonna call this cody okay this we're second gonna give Monday you guys a nice is short episode <laughs> yes wait yeah. is it short how long have we been recording no, no it's, it's short. not short i mean it's long enough it's not short it's, it's perfect. long enough come with your nonsense yeah i mean it's shorter than the past two but only because we had so much to catch up on now we're all caught up so now we now we're back to huh? battle it's actually a we normal are length just episode. giving people a break because do you know how long the episode's <laughs> gonna be when you come back from computex five minutes please. no because <laughs> i insist on a full blow by blow of all the cool things that you saw there okay yeah you know i'm gonna have to write everything down because i'll forget day one but it's fine <laughs> okay we'll never know guys okay, we'll never thing. know do the thing no guys the thing. if this is just not enough for you like you've watched the show you've seen us you're like this is the funniest the highlight of your week we also upload these shows onto apple podcasts and spotify so that while you're driving to work in the mornings in the afternoons or you're being crazy and you're gymming like cody walking your dog at the <laughs> dog park you can listen to us and be like oh look i'm hanging out with my best friends ariel and cody if Yay. you want to tell us something like you thought of a great topic we should discuss or compliments we absolutely love those you can drop us an email at hey at nag.co.za if you love the things that we write and you are like oh this is great i need more of it you can find that content at www.nag.co.za yes if you want to hold the things that we write and all the cool pictures because it's all about the pictures you can still get the annual, the NAG annual 2023 edition at shop.nag.ca.za and keep your eyes there because the mid-year edition is going to be hitting there pretty soon-ish. <laughs> I can't. If you, oh. want to, <laughs> if you want to join the betting pool and see who can last the longest in our Beat Saber um, Olympics, you know, just drop us a WhatsApp line. We'll add it to the WhatsApp group. You can reach us there on 062-834-1919. Otherwise, you can always catch us on our social media pages, Instagram, TikTok, Threads, X, Facebook, probably LinkedIn. another one. LinkedIn, there you go. <laughs> or you can see all the videos on our YouTube channel. Also, just keep your eyes on the YouTube channel because all the Computex updates are going to go up there. Everything we've seen, all the cool stuff, and all everything fun, and I suppose whatever food we eat as well, more than likely. Um, or you can catch us on Ayoba under the Game Explorers. Yeah. That's great. That's all That's our everything. things. That's everything, Cody. Yay. <laughs> Cody, do you actually feel like we're going to get the second magazine out? Yes, we're <laughs> close. I can't, I can't. You're nearly there. One more also and then we're done. One more also. It's all I have room for in here. <laughs> One more, no more. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.